Hey, buddy. Um, so it's been a while since we've done some videos, um, because we were talking, like, on the Google Talk, and so we didn't really need to do videos because we were having actual conversations. Um, so, but I want to, I haven't talked to you in a couple of days. Nothing really exciting's happened. Uh, well, something happened, well, something didn't happen, but it fucked me up and I need to talk about it, but that's a, like, private bestie conversation, not a broadcast to the internet's conversation. So, um, we'll, we'll have to do that, but it, it really, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it, like, ugh. I don't even know how to explain it, and I don't remember the code name we gave for the person that's involved, so there's just no way for me to even talk about it. <laughs> um, in other news, I put my winter hair color on, uh, which was a lot darker than I expected it to be. It's like dark, dark, dark brown. Um, I'm not sure that I like it. I feel like it looks weird, especially because it had been so light, so... I don't know, um, I might just wash it aggressively this week, like as often as possible to try to tone it down a little bit. Um, I thought maybe wearing it flat it would look better, but it doesn't. <laughs> so um, it just makes me look really, really pale, and um, that wasn't that big of a deal when I lived in Vegas and there was sunlight, but um, there's like a foot and a half of snow on the ground. <laughs> So, uh, I can't really get away with being this fucking white with this dark of hair. So, um, other things. Let's see. Thanksgiving sucked, but we talked about it. Um, it didn't really suck. It was all in my head. But, um, uh, since then, not a whole lot has happened. I hired a new girl at work, um... She's pretty awesome. She's been a barista before. She knows a bunch of the same people that I know. Um, she's super adorable. She's an artist. Um, she has good taste in music. So, you know, I, hopefully that'll work out. Um, that's my first person that I've hired for this job. So that's cool. We've got an, an, another open mic coming up on Thursday. Which my godmother's son, so my god brother, is that what they're called? He's going to come play. He's like, um, he's 16 and he's just learning guitar and stuff. So he's going to come play, which will be good because I haven't seen him since he was like super tiny. So um, that'll be fun. And then um, my, you know, my normal friends that come. So hopefully we get some more people though too. Um, I, uh, I've been writing poetry for the last 24 hours. Um, I've been playing around with the, like, slam poetry style, which is not a style I've ever written before. Um, I wrote a couple that are actually pretty good, I think. Well, I, I don't know. Probably not. Probably they're terrible to anybody who actually writes this kind of poetry. But for my first couple attempts at it, I feel like they're okay. Um, I wanted to read you one but, I don't know, I'm still really shy about it, so I don't think I will. But, um, I did record me doing two of them, and they're on a super secret website. <laughs> so I'll send you the link to that, um, because I, th that's just something I'm not quite ready to share with everybody yet. Um, but... Other than that, like, I've just kind of been doing my thing. Oh, um, I made some headbands. So I have been knitting again. Um, I made one for Sarah Jo that I already gave her and I didn't get any pictures of. Um, but, uh, and then I made one for Ezra out of some hand spun. So it's the Serendipity Ear Band from um, the Knit Circus... Uh, gift one that just came out a little bit ago. Um, so this one is for Ezra. I didn't think he'd want one, but um, I guess Sarah Joe's came out super well. And Ezra uh, wears like bandanas to work all the time. So, but it's 
it's kind of cute. Like, I, I like it. I think I might knit one for me. Um, I feel like they look weird on me, but I don't know. It would be good to have in the morning because a hat kind of, you know, fucks up your hair a little bit. So this might be better to have for the morning when it's super cold. But, um, but anyways, so yeah, so I've, I have two, two FOs this week. I made two headbands. They're super quick. Um, and it's just, it's like ribbing and there's some increasing and then decreasing. It's, they're super easy. And then Sarah Jo's has a little crocheted flower on it. Um, that's some of my super old hand spun. Um, but I feel like I'm getting back into knitting. So, um, I'm going to start working on my sister's sweater vest again, and I'm hoping to get that done sometime soon. And then, um, I, last night I was going to pull out my spinning wheel because I wanted to spin for a little bit, but then I got sidetracked by writing, <laughs> by writing poetry. So, um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much everything. I, I, I feel like my life is really uninteresting. I didn't do a whole lot this weekend. I stayed home Friday night, Saturday I worked, and then I recorded with Sarah Joan Ezra for their podcast. I'm going to be on another episode of their podcast. Their other, their other friend Danny's in town, so they've been hanging out with him a lot. Um, and then Saturday night I got a little too drunk during the podcast and had to go hang out on my sister's couch for a while because my sister lives next door to Ezra. So... Um, had to go hang out on her couch for a little while, uh, did some stupid shit, felt like an idiot, never drinking juice or four loco again, because in addition to being drunk and stupid, you're, you're drunk, you're stupid, and you're like wired because it's caffeinated malt liquor, which is just a terrible fucking idea. Like it really is just a terrible fucking idea. Um, so never again. I'm done. I'm done with that. I've, I've had like three or four of them now over the course of the last month. And every single time I just get ridiculous. Like there's, and then it makes your heart feel like it's going to explode. I can't sleep. I just lay there like in a drunken stupor staring at my ceiling. It's just, it's not good. It's not good. So, um, never again, never again, because my, brain to mouth filter is uh thin enough to begin with i don't need anything else that is uh lowering my ability to keep my fucking mouth shut so um there was a whole lot of saying things on the internet that had to be deleted later uh luckily i almost immediately was like "Ooh, that's a bad idea and deleted a bunch of stuff so um but there's been a lot of blogging going on. Oh, I started actually writing my book. Um, it's not the book that it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's, um, it's not the book I'm supposed to be writing, but it is a book. So, and I wrote um, an article that I'm hoping to submit to Bitch, but I'm nervous about submitting it. So. Um, I wrote like the first draft and I've been kind of tinkering with it over the last couple of days. And then there's like one whole section that I don't really like. So I think I might scrap it and that part of it and start over. Um, but before I send it in, I'll probably send it to you and see what you think. Um, and have you maybe do a once over edit for me and let me know. Um, yeah. So that's about it. School starts in a couple of weeks. I need to go to the university today and drop off my last transcripts from UNLV so that I can prove that I withdrew from all of my classes. Um, I found out that I'm actually closer to uh, both a lit degree, or, uh, or I'm sorry, an English degree and a psychology degree. I'm closer to both of those degrees than I am to a sociology degree. So that's um, mildly heartbreaking. Uh, I'm trying to decide, I'm going to make an appointment with the counselor to see um, how much closer to an English degree I am because I may just go ahead and finish off an English degree because then I could start subbing in the school district and have that help me pay for 
finishing off my social degree. I have no interest in a psychology degree, so I don't want to do a psychology degree, but I wouldn't mind just going ahead and getting my English degree. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, oh, the Peculiarities of Lemon Cake book. Um, it looks interesting. So I'm going to be out and about today. i got to pick my sister up in a little bit and drop her off at work. Um, and then I'll probably roll by Tidal Wave anyways to get a chai because that's the coffee shop that I like to go to. So um, I will roll in there and see if I can find it. And if I can't, then I'll, uh, I'll order it on Amazon uh, next week when I get paid again. Um, well, it might be the same price on Amazon as it would be at Tidal Wave because they're both pretty cheap. But I have credit at Tidal Wave. So, anyways, um, oh, and I wanted to tell you, you were talking about Sprawl 2 in the in your last video. Like that is my favorite song on that album. I am so completely in love with that song. Like, yeah, and I keep thinking I'm gonna get sick of it too. But it's been on a loop in my car. And I really, really, really want you to like Tao and the Get Down, Stay Down. They are my new favorite band ever. Like, I listen to that shit nonstop. I, I just, I want you to love them. I want you to love them as much as I love them because I love them. And I'm converting people. I got, my friend Jen comes and visits me at work and I've been listening to it at work, like, nonstop. And so today she's, she at replied me on Twitter and was like, I have the Tao, I have Tao and the Get Down, Stay Down stuck in my head. And uh, she has When We Swam, which is my favorite song, the one that I posted for you, um, stuck in her head. So I'm going to make her, I'm going to burn her a copy. It's so good. It's so good. Um, this morning I was listening to the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. I was listening to uh, the album with Gold Line on it. Is it called Gold Line? I don't even know what it's called. Uh, Show Your Bones. Um, I don't like that song, Gold Lion, just I think because I got burnt out on it, but I've decided that Phenomena is probably my favorite song on that album, though I do like Cheated Hearts, too. So, um, but yeah, something like a Phenomena, baby. Um, Heart You, can't wait to hear from you. Tell me about your Thanksgiving and your week and how your vacation was. I see that you're watching a lot of Doctor Who. How's that going? Love you.